Hi, my name is Marcus Norwood, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the Clone Stamp Tool in Sumo Paint Image Editor. Once you've opened Sumo Paint, the first thing you want to do is bring in the image that you want to work with. So you would come up here to the File tab, and either open from your Sumo account, open from your computer, or open from a URL. Uh, but for today, for this demonstration, I'm going to open from my computer and I'm going to choose a picture that's being provided by Kay Connors at morgfile.com. This is a public domain image. I'd like to give credit uh, for that person's work. And we have this picture of New York City. So if I wanted to clone any given building or any given part of this photograph, I would come over here to my tools bar which is on the left hand side of my screen here and I'm going to left click on the clone stamp tool. Now the next step is to come up here to this bar where you have a series of adjustments that you can make to your clone stamp tool and you want to left click on the target to target the area that you want to start copying and I believe that I'm going to copy this building for this demonstration so I'm going to left click on the upper corner of the building I'm also going to come over here and choose a different brush. Instead of a dry brush, I'm going to use an airbrush, somewhere around a five. I think I'll do the trick. So once you've left clicked on the area that you want to clone, uh, Sumo Paint then comes over to the Draw with Clone Stamp button, and you can see that selected. And I go to the area of the photo where I want to begin cloning, which I believe right here should do and I hold down left click and as you can see as I hold down left click and drag onto my picture it's cloning the building that I selected so in Sumo Paint each time that I let off of left click I have to reset my target so let's say I wanted to clone this building I'm going to hit left click I've set my target now I'm ready to clone again holding down left click Now the clone tool has a lot of different applications. You can duplicate portions of a picture. You can also use uh, the clone stamp tool to eliminate parts of a picture. For example, if I wanted to eliminate this antenna here on the top of this building, I could come up here to my target, set it on a matching area of the sky, and then begin to erase the part of the building, which is this antenna that I do not want. So there are other adjustments that you can make here to your clone stamp tool. You can adjust the diameter of your tool, uh, the brush style, and then the blend mode. So I suggest that you get back to Sumo Paint, pull up a picture, and experiment with these different settings to see what kind of results you can get. And as you're exploring this, have fun with Sumo Paint. 